Hello again, Tom from Every Step Physics, Every Step Calculus dot com. Um, we're going to do a physics problem today in this video regarding a ballistic pendulum. But in physics, if you ever see the word bullet in any problem, you go to bullet in my menu and then uh, you'll find the answers step by step there. Uh, physics, to get to my menu after you buy my program, you have to, you're instructed to put this in here. And then uh, press enter, of course. And we're going to scroll down to bullet. I found in doing these programs that. Uh, there's only a certain amount of formulas you can do with given certain variables. And I give you the choice of variables uh, in most problems, probably all problems, actually. And in this one, we're given mass 1 and mass 2, and then the height, initial height. There's always an initial height or initial velocity in physics, and then there's a final one. A lot of professors leave that out, and then you're confused as to what happens. And it's always the final height minus the initial height to get the height. But same thing with velocity. Final velocity minus the initial velocity to get the, the average velocity. So um, you go to my menu of variables here, which you do when you go to bullet like I just showed you. And here's mass 1 and mass 2 in height. We're going to choose it. You can press the number here, number 4, or you can scroll down. I'm going to scroll down 1, and then I'm going to press the number 4 here. You can't see it because I want to make the screen of the simulator a little bit more uh, proper for you to look at. And we're going to enter the mass of the bullet. You have to press alpha before you enter anything in these entry lines on my programs, okay? And so we're going to press alpha and we're going to enter 11.7 was 11.4 grams. 0.4. Notice what's neat about my program, which is unique. There's no other programs like this, no matter what you where you go online or look at your computer or whatever. These are the best. Uh, number one, grams. So we're going to choose number one there because that's what they give you in the problem. And then I do the conversions for you. Divide by a thousand, you know. And then we're going to enter the mass of the block. And that would be 3.97 kilograms. So alpha 3.97. Kilograms number two. They give you initial height of 0.243 meters. So alpha 0.243 meters number two. Now we show you what you've entered. You can change it if you want. You'll notice now that the mass 1 has been changed to kilograms. So I say this is OK. And then we do the calculations. No, there's no mass in here. Notice that happens quite a bit in physics in a vacuum where the masses cancel because of the algebraic equations and manipulating uh, variables. And so this one is just use, but because the problem gave you mass 1 and mass 2, which they love to throw you off in physics problems, but for professors just love that. And uh, to see if you really know the, the story behind these problems. But I don't teach physics, and I don't like to teach physics, and I don't like to teach you physics. I like to show step by step how to do these problems. And that takes a lot of time to study and to figure out the right ones and to how to do it the best way possible. So anyways, um, go to my site, buy my programs, and 
pass physics. It's as simple as that. Same thing with calculus. All right, have a good one.